hello guys welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video how are you doing i hope you are good we are still on, on the gist from the palace of oni of ife my people allegedly we heard that auntie ebony i don't know what what is her problem she don't start the, the, the worst practice of i don't know what to, how, how will i put it because we heard that the king said that they are going to leave the palace and she have been pleading that leaving the palace is going the to be the worst thing that will happen to her that she have stayed in this palace all through her life that living now she was not she don't know how to cope with it and she have been pleading with the king to the extent of even going to the uh, front of the elders like she came to the elders as we heard allegedly knelt down before them pleading that the king should pardon her to stay back in the palace but let's okay let her not go to the olori's quarter that she wants to go to um where did they call it ayaba quarters at least let her stay in ayaba quarters that it will help her that leaving the palace completely is not going to favor her in any way we all know that leaving the palace is not going to favor her and if she's continuing to stay in the palace it is not going to favor queen naomi too so she must leave so allegedly oh, hmm, they said that she had been pleading with the king to please allow her to stay back in the palace but the king refused she went to the elders king the king is a final say now even if they have meeting the king is the chairman of the meeting is what just a vote of the king covers multitude of the numbers of other people's votes so the king did not agree to what she was pleading for right now we don't know she knows that uh, kunomi stays in akure although they used to do this and each time kunomi comes back to the akure they will, they will be visiting kunomi as if say they and kunomi now five and six so right now we, they, we heard that she went to she went to akure to see mama tadeni kawo so when she got there, maybe the king, uh, Queen Naomi, was not around. Instead of her to go back or maybe come next time or wait, they said that when she came out, she parked her car out there, outside uh, somewhere, and was waiting for when Queen Naomi would pass. They have known Queen Naomi's car now. Queen Naomi, drove, uh, Queen Naomi just drove past a car and the car looks like Ashley's car. And Kunomi said that this, this car is one of uh, the Olori's car. And immediately they went, actually, uh, Kunomi left to, with her driver. The next thing you will see is that Ashley and her own driver started telling uh, Queen Naomi, telling her, like, say she's, uh, she, they have gone to arrest her, be to go and kidnap her, my people. Kunomi didn't the Kunomi was like because they were seeing them from the side mirror. And the Kunomi knew that this is the car she saw that was parked somewhere when they passed. You know, uh, as a trained driver, because some of these drivers that drive this olori, they are well trained. It's not any hard driver. So the man, the driver was was driving and was like, What is, what is this? Kunomi told her that maybe she should look for somewhere. And park. The man went and went and went and uh, maybe one one particular place like that. You know these uh, qualified drivers. They wanted to park. They now drove off again and go to the other side. So the next thing they they could see is. Kunomi now come uh, came out from the car, even the driver. They said that they just want to know exactly what is the plan of those people that were telling them. Immediately, they saw and uh, Olori, uh, Queen Naomi saw Olori Ashley. Ah, she was surprised. What is this? Why are you people following her up and down like? And she said that she wanted to plead with you. Ah, my God, she wanted to plead with uh, Queen Naomi. To please speak to Queen, to speak to the king over her case. Hey, my people, just imagine, just to speak to with, in short, they, they, they know what they are doing. Just, it's not that thing. That thing is not her reason. 
for following Queen Naomi. That she wants her to please help her and speak to the king. Let the king forgive her if the king should do this to others. The king shouldn't do it to her. That her own case is different now. And you know, just the complaint, they tell uh, speak and Konami was almost they said that Konami was so so angry. Like, is this just to come and tell me to speak to the king that you want that made you to be telling me from where? Just want to put you you, just, you are just putting fear. It's not that Kunemi did not tell her that she was just putting fear in her anyway, because Kunemi cannot be afraid of them. Because following her the way they are following her means that she's not secured. Kunemi is not even secure moving moving on the road, main road for that matter. So Kunemi almost slapped her and just yelled at her, telling her that you, you, you are not serious. What kind of attitude is that? So you cannot even wait or you come to Akure or you, you know, but why will she even speak on your behalf? That she is not your husband. All of you, you married your husband. She even left the house for you. You have your husband all to yourself. If there's anything you want to, you want your husband to do for you, huh? Go and they tell your husband to do it for you. Not me. Not when Naomi should do it for you. Okay. You you know the tune and the language you used to speak to your husband. Why not you use it and speak to him? And stop following her around like say she, she, you people are, are, are flies looking for shit to play, to pet on. That she should, she should stop it though. They said that Konomi was so angry. And after quarreling, after yelling at her, and Konomi entered her car and drove off. That was the end of that telling. My people, what thing be this one? What thing go call this one? Just to go and speak for. To the king just just for Kunomi to help her and talk to the king to pardon her not to leave the palace that is why she has been following Kunomi everywhere they want to know her movement they want to know where she goes and where how she comes back are you sure that have, they have not even sent people that will be following her around unknowingly because Kunomi why Kunomi notice this one is because of uh all the car is involved as she have known their car that this is this is one of the only risk. Even when she said it to the driver, maybe the driver couldn't believe it until that thing happened. Anyway, I don't know what is their problem, but what I what I know is that they have they have taken enough. And, okay, any anytime they used to remember that Konomi exists is only when they they have problem with their their husband. Whenever they have issue with their husband, that is when they remember that Konomi exists. They will come and be pleading pleading with Konomi to please talk to the or no, if they talk this, do this, and do that. But when they are at peace, when they will not have problem, none of them will remember that Konomi exists. I bet when she go talk to her husband, they will not her husband. No, be her husband. She talks in her spiritual husband and physical husband too. When she go talk to her spiritual, and if she know if, if she, the king did not understand it physically, when she go talk to them spiritually, because the, the two of them they are spiritual and physical husband at the same time. I beg, you made them leave Konomi alone. Anyway, my colleagues, don't forget that they are all alleged information. Thank you. I love you guys. Bye.